Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. On the second Tuesday of this month, May 2025, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the Patch Tuesday Security Update KB5058405 for Windows 11 23H2. And I'll leave the video linked, but just to let you know that unfortunately, Microsoft now has updated its known issues health dashboard page to let us know that the update might fail to install with a recovery error in acpr.sys. Now Microsoft has this officially to say, it says that it's investigating reports that the May 13 update is failing to install on some Windows 11 version 22H2 and 23H2 devices. Affected devices might encounter the following recovery error code. Your PC device needs to be repaired. The operating system couldn't be loaded because a required file is missing or contains errors. File acpr.sys error code 0xc000098. Now just a quick recap as to what ACPR is in case you're unaware. The ACPR stands for Advanced Configuration and Power Interface and is a critical Windows system driver that enables Windows to manage hardware resources and power states. Now, apparently the issue, Microsoft says, has been observed on a small number of physical devices, but primarily on devices running in virtual environments, including Azure Virtual Machines, Azure Virtual Desktop, and on-premises virtual machines hosted on Citrix or Hyper-V. Now, just take note that home users of Windows using Home and Pro editions are unlikely to face this issue, as virtual machines are mostly used in IT environments. But nonetheless, just because we like to keep you posted and just because you may be experiencing this as a home user for whatever reason, I'm keeping you guys in the loop. Now, also just take note that Microsoft says there are also reports of the same error occurring with a different file name. So just keep that in mind. Now, the next steps, once again, Microsoft is investigating this issue and will provide more info when it's available. And the affected platforms are version 23H2 and 22H2 of Windows 11. Windows 10, and believe it or not, Windows 11 24H2, which is rare. This is a rare case where a known issue actually doesn't affect Windows 11 24H2. And if I get any more info or news regarding this known issue. I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.